Hi, I'm John with AppliancePartsPros.com. Today we're going to be showing you how to repair your appliance. Remember that anytime you work on an appliance, make sure that it is unplugged or the circuit breaker is turned off so there is no chance of electrocution. Today we're going to show you how to install a new heater assembly for a Maytag dryer. It's a really easy job that only requires a pair of needle nose pliers, a flat blade screwdriver, a Phillips head screwdriver, a 5 16 inch nut driver, a quarter inch nut driver, and a few minutes of your time. When you open the package, you'll get one new heater assembly. The main reason why you'd be replacing the heater assembly is if the dryer takes too long to heat up or if there's no heat at all. Start by opening the dryer front door so you can access the two Phillips head screws that hold on the front panel assembly. Next, remove the two Phillips head screws that attach the dryer door hinges to the main body of the dryer. Lift up slightly to disengage the hinges from the dryer cabinet, then remove the door assembly from the dryer. Pull on the top edges of the outer panel to separate it from the retainer clips. Then tilt the front panel forward and remove it from the dryer assembly. Afterwards, you will now have access to the heater assembly. Remove the two quarter inch screws that hold the heater housing to the body of the dryer. Pull the heater housing forward enough to be able to access the various sensors on the unit. Then, remove the two gray wires for the thermal fuse. Note the orientation of the two wires as one is marked with 24 and the other is marked with 25. Remove the black wire connected to the heater element. Note the location of the two wires, then remove the purple and brown wires from the high limit thermostat. With all the wires disconnected, you can remove the heater assembly from the dryer. Here is the old heater assembly next to the new one. If you already have the new part, great. If not, you can get it from AppliancePartsPros.com. Remove the two quarter inch screws that hold the high limit thermostat to the heater assembly. Transfer the old high limit thermostat to the new heater housing. Thread in and tighten the two quarter inch screws. Transfer the brown jumper wire from the old heater assembly to the new heater assembly. Then connect the other end of the brown wire to the high limit thermostat. Insert the new heater assembly into the dryer cabinet. Then reconnect the wires to the thermal fuse and to the heater element. Afterwards, reconnect the purple wire to the high limit thermostat. Align the new heater housing with the back panel of the dryer and then thread in and tighten the two quarter inch retaining screws. Then we can reinstall the main front panel. Start by positioning the slots in the bottom of the panel with the two alignment tabs on the dryer cabinet. Then push in the top portion of the panel that is held by a retaining clip. Install the two door alignment tabs and then thread in and tighten the two Phillips head screws. And now we can install the dryer door. With the dryer door in place, thread in and tighten the two Phillips head screws. Close the dryer door. Afterwards, reconnect the power cord and then you can take the dryer for a spin. Thanks for joining us for another successful repair brought to you by AppliancePartsPros.com. And be sure to check out our other repair videos on our website, on our Facebook page, and on our YouTube channel.